हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू विद एफ आर एफ एनालिसिस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द फ्रिक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स एनालिसिस ऑफ दिस प्लेट सो वी हैव दिस प्लेट नाउ दिस प्लेट इज फिक्सड फ्रॉम दिस साइड हेयर वी कैन सी एंड ऑन टू दिस प्लेट वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई ए फोर्स ऑफ थाउजेंड न्यूटन ऑन द मिड पॉइंट means this is the midpoint of one end of the plate under this excitation load we are going to check the resonance condition it means at what frequency there is going to be resonance under this condition so here we have the dimension of this plate so first of all let's understand the unit system so in this problem we are going to follow newton meter second kg now the dimensions of this and the dimensions of this plate are this 0.36 and 0.24 thickness is 2 mm we are going to take the material that is steel so this is density young modulus and poisson's ratio so whenever we are going to perform any vibration analysis we have to careful about the units and in abacus these are one of the most preferred unit system because as we know abacus is a unitless software so in this problem we are going to follow this unit system that is si unit meter newton kg second or you can follow si unit for millimeters so that is mm newton ton second also we have unit system that is us unit for feet and inches so we need to follow any of this unit system so now let's go to abacus and go to and solve this problem so first of all we will have to create the part so i will go to part right click create i will give it the name plate this is 3d and this is deformable body we are going to take the shell body and that is planar and the approximate size let's say i will take 5 so this 5 is the size of graph and we are going to take the rectangle and let me draw a rectangle like this press escape and then input the dimensions so click on this dimension this is 0.36 and this dimension is 0.24 and let's zoom in on to this click cancel click done from here now the plate is ready after that go to the property module go to property and then click on this isometric view from here or we can rotate it like this just rotate it after that we need to define the material so go to material manager click on create give the name that is steel so here we are going to define the density this is 7850 and then go to mechanical elasticity so let's check the value of young modulus so this value is 210 e raised to the power 9 the units are newton per meter square so this is 210 e power 9 poisson's ratio is 0.3 click okay click dismiss after that we need to define the section so go to section in this section we need to define the thickness so click on create give it give it some name like this is section for the plate here the shell and homogeneous click on continue now the shell thickness the thickness of this part is 2 mm in the meter unit it is going to be 0.002 material we have to take this steel and everything is default click okay click dismiss now assign everything to this part so go to section assignment manager click on create select this part click done now select this section plate select this middle surface and click okay so in this way we have taken the mid surface of this plate and we have assigned the thickness if we want to 
check the thickness whether it is proper or not we can go to this view tab click on this view go to this part display option now in this part display you can see idealization so here we have render beam or render shell render beam is for when we create the 1d beam if you want to see this beam in 3d we have to check on this so when i check on this render shell click apply and zoom in onto this it is going to show the thickness of this plate so now click on view i am going to uncheck on this uncheck on this click apply after that i will go to assembly and then click on create instance now we have option like dependent or independent since this is a single part we can select this as an independent body so click on independent and click ok let's rotate this after that we need to go to the step manager go to step and click on step manager whenever we are going to perform any frf analysis first of all we will have to find out the natural frequency of the system to find out the natural frequency we need to perform the model analysis so click on create here insert the name model go to linear perturbation here you can see the frequency click on continue since it is a very simple part in in which there is only one component so in this situation we need to use the lenkos solver in the lenkos solver i want to find out the first 10 natural frequencies so insert the value 10 so generally when we perform the frf analysis we have to we have to be careful about the first lower natural frequencies because at the higher natural frequency there, there are very less chance of the resonance so click ok click dismiss so in the interaction we since it is single component we don't define we don't need to define any interaction between parts so we directly go to the load in the load we need to define the boundary condition so go to boundary condition click on create and I'm going to define the boundary condition from the initial condition. Select and caster from here, click continue. Select this age and then click done. Click on this and caster. I want to fix everything. So click OK and click done. After that, we need to do the meshing. So in model analysis, we don't need to define any load we only have to define the boundary condition so i will go to mesh click on this seed part and, lay, and let's say the mesh size i am going to take 0 0.1 click apply ok it is fine and then click ok after that go to job now go to create give it name give it some name like this is job for model analysis click continue now here i am going to define number of cores by default it is going to take this single core to solve this problem so i will go to parallelization here i want to use the multiple cores so in my computer i have maximum four processors so I will make a check on this multiple processor M and maximum according to the strength of my computer I can take 4. Okay. So you need to check for your computer. Right now I am taking this for two processors to solve this problem more quickly. Click OK. And then before performing before performing this run. I'm going to save this part. So go to file and save as. To save as this part, I'm going to select a directory. So I will go to. So I have already created a working directory. So I will go to file. Go to set working directory. Now just paste the location and click OK. Now I will go to part save as. 
paste the location press enter give it some name like this is model for plate so i have created a folder for you frf plate you can find everything inside this folder click ok after that click on this job and then submit this analysis now it is going to show an error this is unmatched region it means we have forgotten to match this part so i will go to dismiss so i will have to go to the mesh click on this mesh part and then click yes now the meshing is completed i will go to job and then submit this so after some time when the job is completed you can go to results and you can check out the natural frequencies you can see the bending shapes so this is first for the bending natural frequency okay when i click on this this is bending let's see the multiple natural frequencies so i will go to result click on step or frame here you can see the value of frequencies for first mode shape it is the frequency value 13.25 275 similarly for mode 2 mode 3 so you can see for the first 10 natural frequencies for so you can see for the first 10 mode shapes the natural frequency is varying between 13 or 13 to 515 it means when we perform the frf analysis we have to check for these frequency values you can also see the deformation for each mode shape let's say i select mode shape 2 click apply and once again click on the deformation so in this way we have performed the mode shape analysis in the next lecture we will continue inside this to perform the frf analysis